don't know but I'm just trying literally walked straight from my car and I'm about to get on the flight like that's how late I was but at least I made it Tella is already here so let's see if I'm sat next to her I don't even know I think they're really like what gets to get. <laughs> 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 but I'm so sad that I don't see each other. I think I'm a bit of you guys, but I started going to the church. So, I'm gonna reach the mass of the day. Oh, I missed yesterday. I missed Thursday, so I'm reading this too. on camera this is not her real personality <laughs> like yeah but right, Lagos now this is a better episode first yeah you know yeah. the other guy was like living that's good though the stability rights what are your plans for the weekend I swear every time she's here, she's talking about her bae. Yeah, those of us single folks, we're here to work, you know, be productive, do things, catch some trips. Yeah, you'll see how it goes. This babe is so fresh. Like, this type of swag I'm trying to be on when I grow up. We have the same bag though, but I definitely don't look as nice as her. And then there's Tyler. <laughs> Tyler looks cute. Daddy is so much about let's see let me see when I text my parents 20 30 minutes ago and my Uber has been stuck in the same place oh still eight minutes away babe I may take a different car like it doesn't make sense all these taxis are here screaming up and down he's still in the same spot no, I, don't, I don't trust this, uh, taxi. why not they're just random is it airport, airport this one her driver is also late that's why you you just want me to no, be here I with you I'm, I'm safe. I know how to protect myself. As in, the guy the first time I ever called this Uber guy. What's the time now? My camera is trash in the night, but like, I hate Lagos. We are still at the airport too. What's the time right now? It's 7.17. We got in at 6 something. Then obviously people on their convoy to add to the headache. Just ended up following Tala. Still on the mainland. Huh? See all the cars on the road. Oof. Is it crazy? Uh -uh. He wanted to drive into yes, the no. thing. Wow. <laughs> Lagos. Sharp moves. Sharp moves. Hello? Okay. Please, you should not be telling somebody my location. Not you, not you. Eh? But you're talking about where you're going with me. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry In a language I don't understand. No. It doesn't matter. I'm you sorry. know, security is very important. Okay. Sorry about that. Can't be friend. telling. You can tell him I'm with a customer. You don't tell him where you're going to with the customer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Good morning, guys. Next day in Lagos. I'm ready for the show. Thank you. From Steve Madden. She just complimented those shoes I struggled to find. But yeah. 
Ah, no, no, let me take a picture now. This background is nice. Um, so today I'm going for the show. It's called Opinionated. You know, I talk a lot and have a lot of crucial. Co I'm sure this baby noise is ruining this video, but I talk a lot and had a lot of crucial conversations on Instagram about women's rights and about just issues that affect women. So they reached out to me to do it, and I'm here. This is like the pilot show, so I really wonder how it's gonna go. And it's my first time ever doing something like this as well. This video has really ruined this video, so I hope you heard anything I said. Oh, sorry, me. Oh, yes, you. <laughs> She's there rummaging through her baking stuff. But yeah, I want to try and place this somewhere so I can show you guys my outfit. I was trying to do like a really girly look because are you gonna do it for me? Oh, thanks. Well, it's still showing you. How do I? Oh, okay. That's oh, the point. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that background. Okay. <laughs> so, this is my look for today. Oh, you look cute. Can I take a picture while videoing? No. Do that side. Oh, hi. Hi, man. Hi, man. Hi. Do you know what? Anytime I see a butterfly, that means I'm doing something right. And you have a butterfly on your My hand. Or... On your hand. Is this not butterfly? Yeah. Exactly. It's a sign from God. Anytime I see a butterfly, please let me see. This is my driver, randomly. Can what I... are the odds that my driver has a butterfly on his, on his arm? Is that not a sign? Anytime you see a butterfly is a good thing. And look, today I'm going for my first show. And this is happening. That means God is with me. All right. Catch you later. I'm just doing like a behind the scenes, I guess, of this. Hi, yeah. hi, hi, Niamma. <laughs> Thanks nice for coming. Meet you. Thank you for having me. Sorry about the delay. Like, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> At least I'm not the last. You know, be the last person. I'm waiting for my hair. Okay. Oh, what are you doing to your hair? For my wedding. Oh wow. My friend is okay. Well, the turban is nice. What? Where is she? She's not so far. No, she's not. She's not. Okay, so is it just four of us? It's meant to be five. Oh. Okay. The last girl told me. I think she's not feeling pregnant. Oh, wow. Yes, she said she would be late. That her baby, she has a little baby. And then she wants them. Her man is going to be okay. Oh. So, that's in the situation, right? Yeah, but you're pulling it up. Yeah, she has two boys. You're kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Christian yes. <laughs> I was wondering when she said the pastor. I was like, okay, pastor. Oh wow. How do they give? Do you? So he's going to ordain you, pastor. Right, so it's not automatic. It's not automatic. Well, at least in our case. Okay. I really like that because there was one time. A lot of pastors do that just immediately. Bam. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is, the way the ministry is, somehow it always works out that the woman is naturally ministering inclined because when people come together to marry pastors, there must have been some ministry spiritual connection. So after some time, it usually is that there's a lot of work going on in church that the pastor needs his wife to be around. Yeah, but I don't feel it should be me just because I'm married to you. Some women want to do other things. Yeah, I'm in church, I work, I'm a believer, but I don't want to be a pastor. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. 
Yeah. That's so, quite cool. Uh, she's our Muslim voice. Okay. You're meant to be the glam wow. girl. Wow. So no. <laughs> You're meant to be the modern feminist. Okay. The typical. The modern feminist. The typical. Is that what you are? Though? I'm a lawyer, so I thought that I would have been the legal voice. Yeah. But do you practice? Like, yes, I well, not really. I work for a women's rights NGO, so I don't go to court, but I still deal with the law because we do like legal advocacy. Yeah. So you could be that though, but I want each. I have to my from It's almost like a chair, but not mm. physical, to be represented. Yeah. yeah. Because I don't. There are some things you will think about feminism. I don't think they should be saying. Yeah, I am glam though. Anyways, so yeah, so like, <laughs> I don't yeah. mind being both. Text the questions yesterday, but then I changed it last minute. With, with so the questions we have, and they are not like things you have to research. Um, they are things you, yeah. how you feel. No, yes. Yeah. So let me tell you guys. I don't want you to be too poised. Oh, I know you're very classy, but I want it to be very down to earth and you don't have to, if you're objecting or if you don't like what she's saying, you should voice it, you get what I mean? So I don't, I would actually prefer that we're on the same page. So whatever you feel, just feel. So your mind, I don't want it, so that's why I'm like, dress how you want to dress. So it's just you on the table. and. The people you represent in a search to get because there'll be someone watching that will resonate with you. Mm. Yeah. You didn't tell us who you are. Sorry, my name is No. No, no, you gave us all personalities. Oh, me. I'm the host. Okay. So, uh, wow. <laughs> in the sense that I'm going to try my best to lead the conversations in, like, try to twist the questions. Yeah. So if you say something like, but what about? Okay, like the moderator basically yeah. just, yeah, guiding the conversation. Okay. That's quite cool. So, so do you have like, um, what I call it now, a schedule for the rest of it? Like how often do you want to do this? Do you have other topics, sessions, written out that you're looking at doing? Yeah, other topics, but the topics will come from trends also. Like mm. what's happening in the society. society okay. So not think, but there are some topics that are always yeah, are important. Always so we have those then. Okay. Um, okay. But about how frequent, that would have to be our discussion here and how okay. we work around that. Do you too. work with craftsmanship? Yeah, 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 okay. no. It's meant to be like a partnership. So I just brought the idea to them. I'm like, okay. are you cool? Mm -hmm. I would be like, yeah, let's okay. try. That's so, so uh, cool. Is this about issues of Pertaining to no, actually, that wasn't my my point. I wanted mm -hmm. to be a guy can also watch it and enjoy it. Okay. So young people, but the host will be women, young women, okay. millennials. Mm -hmm. What's the what's the age? Um, where does millennials stop? What okay? Uh, millennials are actually the children that were born from year two thousand, so yeah. we are not technically millennials. We're not. No, no. but we are twenty first century millennials. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is gonna be the set. So I feel she would have some. What does that even mean? What does that mean? If we're talking, there are these ladies that are just so antagonistic towards men, and they're all about whatever a man can do, a woman can do. But mm. well, that's not true. What are not designed to be exactly the same? Otherwise, same answers. Same answers. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how possible it's going to be to record. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this thing is going to be copyrighted, but let's do it for the cause. Even when you make reference to social media, I think that's even an advantage that the youth have now. Because we are exposed to more than just the Nigerian bubble. On social media, we see what's happening in Asia, we see what's happening in the Americas, we see what's happening in Europe. We get to pick and choose, you know, different theories yeah. that we've seen and different lifestyles that we've seen and then maybe implement it in Nigeria. But I feel like a lot of Nigerian youth are also naive about the reality of circumstances outside their own circumstances. Such as I would try to. There's some things now I'd say, oh, everybody should have internet, but then it was somebody that told me that, do you think that the average Nigerian can mm -hmm. afford to buy data? Mm -hmm. And to me, that didn't yeah. even click because it's like, ah, it's a normal it's thing. A normal what thing exactly to me. are you saying that? What, if you I'm saying right? that we're ready. We're not ready, but it's because of naivety, not necessarily because of ignorance. Oh, I think you're pardoned. You mean the young Nigerian is naive? I'm so, I think when she says naive, I think, are you relating to? The political space. Yes, that's why nice it's about different things in different instances. Yes. Because what we need to make Nigeria work, even our politicians right now do not really know how mm -hmm. much more us. So in my but room wasn't in the day. So you can't really say because that would like that would really be with somebody because not every representative, like political candidate, has lived every life. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not everyone yeah. has been poor, not everyone has been rich. But if if you have empathy to try to understand i think the key word is understanding but then yeah. that's i i hear but it you. takes time to go and that's why i say time. what we need is mentorship and what we exactly. need is like you know actually practically being in those situations as well if i want to run for office now i can't just sit in my house and just come up with some campaign slogans yeah. i actually have to start going, going to different yeah. areas and understanding and i think we're not really lazy but we're talking about making noise so it's like there are different strategies. So there are some women who are on the fighting end and it's like they are activists about this and they are passionate and they're not going to chill until you hear what they are saying. But then there are also advocates who, as you said, maybe they write proposals, they have round table sorry, discussions. Yeah, but can you not say, what are you fighting for? Uh, for equality. But can't you be passionate without being derogated or anything? We're fighting for you. But I think you have to be passionate about being so You have to be passionate about being so Okay, what are you fighting for? Okay, what are you fighting for? Okay, equal pay. Women are not entitled to equal pay. Why even? What is that? Why? Is that not all about? You know, I feel a practical example is that um, so there's this guy, well educated, and there's you, also equally educated. Mm -hmm. You can do the job, he can do the job, but you go for an interview, mm -hmm. and they most likely, like equal level of experience, okay. they most likely would go with him. Hmm. So is that kind of thing you're like, why? For a random example, if my husband earns 10,000 Naira mm -hmm. and I earn 15,000 Naira, mm -hmm. my husband can decide he's giving 9,000 Naira and I'm giving 2K. Why? Because Who that's what he room? wants to do. Choice. And that's okay. because he, oh, he feels I'm providing, I'm bringing for my family. I cannot be like, okay, babe, no, let me actually help you here. I think you can keep this for yourself, I can use it to invest or do something. Well, that's not my own. But, but sorry, can I just stop us? Yes. Because I think we're confusing equal duties with equal rights and opportunities. Yes, that I mean, really challenges the status quo. Like what the society has groomed us with, like what we think what should be. be. Yes. So because this type of example you're giving, oh, you're helping, you're doing this, you can actually be the, uh, what you call Red, it? Red, Red, yes. Yes. Red, and you guys have a happy people that are in monogamous heterosexual marriages and they are depriving their wives of actual happiness and sexual fulfillment because they are pretending to be someone that they are not just so that they don't face all this backlash in society. 
So I, I, as you said, you start with questioning because it depends on how old the child is. If it's a seven-year-old, I won't really take him seriously at first, but I'll but be watching. To talk and ask yeah, I'll, I'll talk, I'll ask questions, but at the end of the day, I will accept my child. But so then who would you blame? Is it the child that knows nothing? No, I will blame the perpetrator. But where were you when he was perpetrated? Can you be with your child 24-7? No, no, but you can train your child right to know that way. You can expose and enlighten your child to know that this is bad, this is bad. Don't mm -hmm. let uncle do this to you. Mm -hmm. I think that's where, you know, the organization I work in maybe is biasing me because I see so many situations where my father, teacher, you're, as far as you're concerned, you're putting your child into a good situation. Mm -hmm. Your child is in a good environment. Mm -hmm. Why should you think that the reverend father that is an altar boy for his really yeah. really yeah. so time really trust everybody. So that means that are you gonna hide your child in the house? Not hide. Yeah. 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 Educate your child. Yes, exactly. you can educate your child, but people abuse people. It's not as if children just willingly say, "Hey, yes." Come at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These people are actually abused. They have been compromised. They are as a molested. Yeah, exactly. It's not as a, a willing relationship. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't make sure you drop your child in school, church, or whatever it is. Try, you know, go there sometimes, even without letting the, the two parties know that you are coming. Talk to your child mm -hmm. because some children now feel so scared to like talk to, to their parents. parents. That's, see, that's the fault of the parents, sort of. Mm -hmm. I know mm -hmm. I can't blame the parent 100%, mm -hmm. but you sh your home should be so comfortable mm -hmm. that yes. your child can yes. say yes. anything. And your child can say, oh mommy, be free. But you get that is yes. 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 But this is how yes. sex education you give a child. Even if the child will be able to like, oh, don't touch me, don't touch me, it will still force the child and yeah. do whatever it is. I say if you tell, I tell exactly. I'll tell you. Like, it's, it's not, you. It's not, like, it's not your, your um, duty as a mother to ensure that each time your child comes back, you, you will be able to like read your child whenever your child feels that's that where I'm going. I, think I, want to, I want to balance what everyone is saying, especially both of you. A lot of responsibility, maybe not all, because when we used to grow up, our parents used to say it's the society or community that raises the child. Unfortunately, our society is a bit mm, suspect nowadays, but we are more sure about certain places than certain places. Because, like she said, I can't be, I can't be with them all the time. I don't know, I can't speak That's why I'm saying that you can't blame the parents. The only person you can't blame is the perpetrator the only. Yeah. And then we need the issues we need to know. deal with. Yeah. Some people just want to jump in, some people just want attention, some people just want to stare at conversation, mm -hmm. some people are just spiteful and they feel okay, it's cuckoo cool free, I'm not mm -hmm. paying for it, so you just like, I have a voice, everyone has 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 a voice, Okay, I went to social media and still see this hashtag. You know, you just think you wake up one morning and that's yeah, hashtag. Trending. From Lagos to be, from Aja to maybe Vega to Aja or something. What's I don't know. Like it? a hashtag. Like a girl went all the way from uh, Vega. She went to Aja to go meet her boyfriend or blah blah blah. Like that was what actually so what was that. That, that, You see, that's the thing. What was actually on her? What is your business with that? Then that's the same day. That same day. Something. This um, Otedola Road. Um, that was, that was a major thing. thing. So now they just. Everything just became okay now. They've they divided from the uh, Lagos to Nigeria to Aja. They're now okay. Our Nigeria is so just like that. Oh, so that is that is social media. You connect. Sometimes the issues are trivial. Sometimes they are very important things. We just finished filming. Finally, on the way home, it is 5:17. I got there at about like 12 o'clock, so it was quite long and intense, but it went well. See one of my. Hello Hi. panelists, Rami. Yeah, so we're just sleeping now. But it was good though. I can imagine we're gonna shake some tables when it actually is yeah. released. So you guys don't come for us. It's just what we think is our opinion. And you're allowed to tell what you want to tell. Alright. Bye. See you in my next stop. But if my driver is in Nigeria, I like to play smart eh? and it's just not even funny. So this guy when I actually, this is actually a taxi fine. Let me not say Uber, but I'm just comparing it to Uber that we're using in Dubai. Remember how we were talking about them? Anyways, this one, I call him. He's like, oh, please, I, please make sure that I hope that this is a cash trip. I'm like, yes, it's a cash trip. Cool, already, you're already interrogating me. Why do you want cash? I found that funny. Anyways, cool. Next thing, 
we get to the destination, it's um, I think 2700. So my change should be 300 naira. He gives me 200 naira and I doesn't have change. I said, that's many hundred naira. So it's like, why do you insist on making it a cash trip if you don't, you don't have change? Just so you can collect that hundred naira from somebody. If you carry five people in a day, that's 500 naira you've made based on saying, oh, I don't have change. So that's not acceptable. Meanwhile, you're the one that insisted it's a cash trip. He thought I'll just let it slide. I'm sitting down in this car and he's going to find me change. And until he finds me change, we'll be sitting down here together. Now I'm here sweating in the car. He has parked and he's going to go and look for change. But he will look for it because it's the principle that counts. Black Olive, I'm can't wait. I've heard so much about this restaurant. It's my friend sister that owns it, so the food should be gone. Okay. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. Where can I sit here or is that sitting upstairs? I wanna go upstairs. Okay then. So pretty. It smells amazing as well. Oh. Yummy, I love it. <laughs> Having dinner alone. Sad time. Oh no, so sad. Okay, male and female share. Good lighting. Smells great. I really want to know what this thing is. It's different. It smells really good. Has arrived. The sauce came on the stick, so it's like I couldn't use it for the mash. But they are telling me that I meant to use the sauce on the stick for the mash. But if you intend for somebody to be able to use this for the boat, then you keep it in a separate jar so that the person can decide how they want to spread the sauce among themselves. So I'm just on my way to my cousin's house right now, and I'm feeling a bit heavy. So on the show, they asked us this question: that if you're a child is gay um you know if a child comes and tells you that they're gay what would you do about it or what would you feel and i said i would accept my child as they are because um, i believe that gay people are entitled to their own rights and i believe that you should not discriminate against someone just because of their sexual orientation so i know my mom is an avid christian and all and i called her to just give her a warning that oh you're gonna hear that I said this that you know I'm pro gay rights. And she just goes on and on about how she's ashamed of me and you know I've 
disappointed her that I'm not a Christian, I'm deceiving myself, I can't do half and half, but to me it's like, if, if you're a Christian, are you meant to be judging people, are you meant to ostracize people, are you going to say that gay people should not have rights, is that what true Christianity is all about, that's not my own version of Christianity, I have my relationship with Christ and you know, I work with that and I don't believe that God has planted it in me to hate gay people just because of their sexual deviances and sexual orientation. Fair enough, everybody always makes reference to Sodom and Gomorrah, but I always say that is the Old Testament. That was before Jesus Christ came and, you know, brought grace and gave us redemption and showed us that bad as it be, no matter what it is that you do, I know that you have your sins and I know that you're flawed. Being gay, is it a sin? Even if it's a sin, is it worse than lying? Sin is sin. Is it worse than uh, adultery? Sin is sin. As in, these are things that people do, but it's like, are you going to cut them off from society and say that they shouldn't be imprisoned as per the way that the Nigerian law says that things should be just because they are gay and they feel like this is their own orientation and they don't love a different sex, they love the same sex. I don't know, that's not, that's not Christianity to me. Christianity is not, you know, about judging or about a one-track lifestyle. I don't know how to explain so, it. I'm feeling very heavy. It started off as a good day, but this is what I feel like now. So I think I'm going to end this vlog now. Tomorrow I'm heading back to Abuja. So it's, it's just pretty standard. I don't really feel motivated right now. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. I got you, but it's me.